Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special submission match. Hailing from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Nothing fancy about this man. You talk about it in your face. That's who Stone Cold Steve Austin is. Well, you're right about that. Steve Austin is six foot two, 252 pounds. And instead, there's not a human being walking the face of the earth that can make him say, I quit. You know what? I think I believe him. His opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, Brett Hitman Hart. And here he comes, Brett the Hitman Hart. You really happy to see him again, King? Well, I'm going to try to leave my personal history with Hart out of this, JR. Let me just say that, like this crowd, my feelings toward the so-called Hitman are mixed. Oh, dear God. Man, I'm glad I'm wearing dark pants because that was a shot to the body. Steve Austin can feel the momentum swinging his way. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying out of this matchup. Watch out here. I'm not so certain that this match will be called right down the middle by our guest here. It's unreal. I'm not sure I can watch this. Very nicely done. That's some cruel and unusual damage being perpetrated. Executed perfectly. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Well, oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake. One moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. He's in the driver's seat, and he knows it. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. No, not again. He's trying to get inside his head. The speed, the collision. Steve Austin with the offense. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying, taking a risk here. Is this it? Oh! Stay down! Stay down! Oh, you better be careful, Stone Cold. Oh! Also, if, he knocked, if he knocks Brett out, Brett can't say I quit. This I quit match, Ken Shamrock for referee. We are in Chicago. This is WrestleMania 13. Neither Austin or the Hitman have ever submitted in their professional careers. It's all on the line here. A lot of pride. Who's the alpha male? Nice leg sweep by the, by the Hitman. 
Man, this crowd is going wild, JR. They're, they're waiting to hear one of these superstars say they quit. You gotta think that the Hitman is second sharpshooter. Focusing on the leg of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh-oh, this is not gonna be good for the Rattlesnake. Oh, man. Bret Hart. Oh, man, look at this. Ah! The figure four using that ring post as leverage. Shamrock trying to free Stone Cold. And Austin, the damage has been done. Austin in a bad, bad way. But he still will not say he quits. He's got to be vigilant about not taking any more damage to the neck. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. And he's headed back in. Bret Hart being overwhelmed here. Oh, look at this, JR. Man, I'm telling you, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, look out! Look out. Oh, inverted Ooh. atomic drop. And Austin, that's a low blow, technically. Again, a no disqualification match. Referee Ken Shamrock helpless to do anything about him. Now what's the hitman doing? Uh oh, look out. Steel chair. Bret Hart bringing a steel chair in the ring. It's as legal as a wrist lock. Things are about to get ugly. Oh. Right to the leg, Austin in trouble. Oh, oh no, oh no. Hart's got evil intentions. This is gonna be damn bad, JR. This is gonna be real bad. Look at this. This is gonna be, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bret Hart took too long, Stone Cold got the chair. Oh man, the steel chair right in the spine. From downtown Victoria, Texas. Oh, look at Austin. He is begging Bret Hart to get back to his feet. And that, uh oh, look out JR, Austin's got the chair. Austin keeping his word. Ah. He said he, oh my God. He said he was gonna beat the hell out of Hart. And he's doing it with that steel chair. Nothing the referee can do about it. The stakes are high. He's in the driver's seat, and he knows it. He's got him. Austin's in a fighting mood. I've seen this before. We may see a mud hole get stomped here soon. Yep, that's the reversal by Bret Hart. Oh, mama! Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business as usual. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying out of this matchup. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. His strike hits nothing but air. Looks like a small in the back took a lot of punishment from that slam. Oh my, Steve Austin. Not this. Incredible move by Steve Austin. He's trying to get inside his head. Austin's in a fighting mood. It don't get more painful than that. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. This guy's just too strong. I'm not so certain that this match will be called right down the middle by our guest here. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them.
Back on the inside. And his attack misses. Oh, the carnage. The impact. Just debilitating. It's nearly impossible to deal with this type of power. A very clever move. What a smart athlete. Oh, out of nowhere. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying out of this matchup. Remember, our guest here is only here to officiate the match, not get involved. Of course, I'll believe that when I see it. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying out of this matchup. Seen that one before. A perfect Stone Cold Stunner! I'm not so certain that this match we called right down the middle by our guest here. It's the mat. That'll rearrange your face. What an amazing match here at WrestleMania 13. The Hitman, oh, Bret man. Hart, trying to lock oh. in the Sharpshooter King. You know how that feels. Yes, it I is do. deadly painful. Oh, my gosh. And Bret Hart has it cinched in. Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't think he's got any choice, JR. He's going to have to say, I quit. Austin a long way from the ropes. He can't reach the ropes. Referee Ken Shamrock right down in Austin's face to hear him say, I quit. Austin in a bad, bad way, obviously. Wait a minute. Brett got off balance. Brett lost his balance there, lost his, his leverage, but he didn't re relinquish the hold. Oh, he's still got it locked in and now applying even more pressure. An amazing display of guts. Listen to Shamrock. He's saying, Austin, do you quit? Do you quit? Shamrock's done an amazing job of fishing this match. Austin has passed out. That's it. Austin is unconscious. As a result of Stone Cold Steve Austin losing consciousness, the winner of this bout, Brett Hitman Hart. The match is over. The referee has stopped it. Austin cannot continue. And there's no reason for Bret Hart to continue this onslaught. He's won the match, but he's frustrated that he couldn't make Austin say, I quit. He's going to try to put that sharpshooter on again. Shamrock, look at Shamrock. Shamrock with a takedown, waistlock takedown, and Shamrock will fight you, Brett. He will fight you right now. Bret Hart showing no sportsmanship whatsoever after winning this controversial match here at WrestleMania 13. Well, Bret Hart wins, but Stone Cold Steve Austin just too stubborn to say, I quit. And this crowd chanting, Austin, Austin. Man, what a, we come in here, Hart was the fan favorite. Austin was the enemy. They leave Whoa, in different hey, roles. Stunner! Austin on one leg. You never trust a rattlesnake. Never. They don't make good corporate pets, let me tell you. Austin on one leg. Refuse to say I quit. In the wake of WrestleMania 13, as audiences began to gravitate towards Stone Cold Steve Austin, a dark cloud began to form 
separating the hitman from fans south of the Canadian border. First of all, I want to apologize. What? To all my great fans in Canada. For what? And to you, my fans right here across the United States of America, I apologize for nothing. I take a gunless creep like Stone Cold Steve Austin and beat him to a bloody pulp. Even though you all know that he lost, you cheer him on the way back to the dressing room like he won. You don't respect me. Well, the fact is, the American wrestling fans can kiss my ass. Let me clear the air because I never, ever said I quit. You never got the job done. As Bret Hart's relationship with the American fans continued to crumble. Americans don't give a damn about family. The hitman would turn to his family to forge a new foundation. I'm asking you for your help because I need you. It would take more than numbers to rattle the rattlesnake. I'm finished with you. You'll have to kill me to be finished with me. The only way I'm going to get Stone Cold Steve Austin off my back is to end his career. Like a pack of wolves! One of these days, April 20th at In Your House, I'm going to look down at your grave. Here lies Bret the Hitman Hart. Because Steve Austin ripped his pink and black <laughs> And that's the bottom line. Gusto Cole sets up.